This is Julia, Reference Librarian at McAllen Public Library. Welcome to Creative Tech, where we'll be looking at ways that technology and design can make your life a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. So today I'm going to show everyone how to make a Christmas card on Microsoft Publisher. If you have Microsoft Office and Excel and PowerPoint, you probably have Publisher also because it's part of the Microsoft Office suite. So what you'll do when you open up Publisher is you'll choose the, the template for the Christmas cards. Uh, so you go to built in up at the top. Now the next screen has all of the different templates for all different kinds of things you can make on Microsoft Publisher. So what we're going to do is choose the greeting card templates. And then you go to all holidays and up at the top, it's going to show you all of the Christmas card templates. So you can choose whichever style of card you like. I like the one up at the top, so we're going to choose that one. But there are a few things that you can adjust first on this page. For example, you can adjust the color scheme. Uh, so we're going to browse through those and choose a uh, Christmassy color scheme. This color scheme right here is called mistletoe. That sounds pretty Christmassy, so we're going to choose that one. Uh, next, you can choose from a font scheme. Uh, font is like the style of the text, and they have a lot of choices here, so you can browse through them and choose whichever uh, font, uh, font scheme that you like. Now, another important thing that you choose on this on this screen is the um, size of the card, like um, what uh, what size you want the card to be and how you want the card to be folded. Like if you want it to be a quarter fold or a half fold. But keep in mind that all of these templates are made for eight and a half by 11 size uh, standard size paper. So on the next screen, you have the card and there are a lot of things you can adjust here. Uh, for example, you can uh, make this, you can move this image to the middle. Uh, you can make it larger. Uh, the text over here on the side is pretty small, so we're going to highlight the text and then increase the size of the text. So we're just going to adjust a few things here on the front of the card and then we'll continue on to customize the inside of the card. So to get to the inside of the card, you go over here to the thumbnails on the left and you click on the thumbnail for the inside and you have it here. Now the inside of it is pretty plain. So the first thing we're going to do is change the text. Uh, first, we're going to select it and change the font. Uh, we're going to highlight it and then choose a font that's a little bit more Christmassy looking. That one seems pretty Christmassy, so we're going to choose that one. And then we select the other box underneath it and we do the same thing. We change the font for that too. And now we're also going to change the color. We're going to make the top part red and we're going to make the bottom part green. Now the left side is pretty boring, so what we're going to do is insert an image here. Uh, so you go to insert, and then you go to online pictures, and then in the search box there you search for whatever kind of Christmas image you're looking for. We'll do a search for a Christmas tree. That one looks nice, so we'll select that one. And it puts it in the middle there, but you can drag it to wherever you want it, and you can also change the size of it if you like. Now the last thing we're going to adjust is the back of the card. So you click on the thumbnail for the back and down at the bottom, it's going to tell you who the card is made by. It's made by you, so you're going to put your name there. Now when you're all done your Chris and you've printed it, your Christmas card is going to look something like this. And we chose this template, but you can choose uh, from any of the other fun templates they have on Microsoft Publisher. This was Julia and thank you for watching. Be sure to follow MPL Adults on Facebook and McCallum Public Library on YouTube and don't miss any of our virtual programs.